YouTube. What's going on, man? Appreciate you guys for joining my channel. This is out here trucking. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. Real quick, I want to talk about two tips that uh, help you new drivers while you're just checking your tires or assessing your tires or you're just uh, doing you the pre-trip, your post-trip inspections, or um, like I said, you should be checking your tires every time you stop. Um, so if you make multiple stops, you should be checking your tires. If you're stopping just to go, you know, get a bite to eat or something like that, you should be always doing a, a constant 360 around your truck and trailer, just looking at your tires, checking for um, nails or checking for flats or any damages. So I got two tips I want to help you new drivers today, all right? All right, so number one, we was looking at, this is on my trailer, right? And when I was out here just um, walking around, checking, I noticed that I got a nail. Now in truck driving, for some reason, nails seem to be uh, <laughs> very uh, magnetized to tires. I don't know why, but I never noticed any more nails going into tires until I started driving big trucks, all right? So, <clears throat> real quick, one thing that you guys can do, and one thing that you always should keep on you is a bottle or a spray bottle of soapy water. I don't have a spray bottle, but I just got a bottle with some uh, some soap in it, right? And it doesn't matter if it's um, dish detergent or it doesn't matter if it's just regular hand soap. You want something that's going to create bubbles, all right? And what you can do to tell if you got a slow leak, all right, simply go to where the nail is and just pour some of this soapy water over it, all right? If you don't see, there we go, there we go. If you don't see any bubbles, if you don't see any bubbles, then you don't have a leak, which means that nail didn't penetrate deep enough into your tire, all right? And now you still might wanna take that to a tire shop to get it checked out, but the fact that it's not blowing air it means that I don't have a leak. Yeah, so yeah, so for your new drivers, always keep a bottle of soapy water. Um, you know, pr preferably a spray bottle, but always keep a bottle of, of soapy water in your truck, just in case you run into that situation. Um, you can spray over that nail, and like I said, if you see bubbles, that means there's air coming out of that tire, which means you have a slow leak and you're gonna have to get that checked out immediately or you're gonna end up with a flat, okay? So always keep that in mind for your new drivers. All right, my second, all right, my second tip is hitting your tires or kicking your tires. A lot of times, a lot of times you'll see a driver go by and he'll, you know, he'll physically kick his tires. Like I said, kicking your tires, you can't tell if your tire is properly inflated but you can can tell off the rim. Now watch when I kick this tire. You see that? As you notice, the, it's clearly off the rim, but sometimes, man, guys can be in a rush and they may not notice that. Some people may take a mallet, or me, I have my crank pole. Listen to the sound of that versus this one. When I hit my second one, my inside tire, that one sounds like a drum. This one sounds uh, dull. Yeah, so like, I, so like I was saying, when you're making multiple stops or just like I said, uh, you know, in between stops, you should always be going around your truck, your trailer, checking for nails and, uh, and inspecting your tires, all right? Now, if that particular tire that's flat was on the inside, you know, if you didn't do a thorough uh, check, whether it's a pre-trip or post-trip or it's an in-between check, that's easy. You can easily overlook that, all right? And you might be able to get away with that that tire, you know, get to your destination if you're not going that far. Um, if you're empty and your trailer is, is uh, very light, but if you, imagine if you had a load on there and that load was, you know, 45,000, 49,000 pounds, um, you can easily cause that tire to overheat and blow 
and it just it'd be uh, a lot more damage and, and problems than you uh, you would, <laughs> would like it to be okay so those are my two tips for you new drivers today <clears throat> Keep a uh, bottle of soapy water with you just in case you get a nail and you can tell if you have a slow leak and just, you know, always do a thorough inspection of your th tires um, and always, you know, it's okay to kick your tires or hit your tires with a mallet just to see if you got a flat or right. The only proper way to check for proper tire inflations is with the tire pressure gauge and you want your tires to be, you know, inflated to the proper level. And you know it's different between your steers, your steers, your drives, and your tra uh, trailer tires, all right? So those are my two tips for, um, for the day. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, make sure you guys uh, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, this is Out Here Trucking, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.